blessing of the Lord is a loaded package for the enhancement of man's life and destiny. Loaded package. The blessing of God is beyond money. Every time we talk about the blessing, we talk about the blessing or that someone is blessed. The first thing that comes to people's mind is riches, wealth. It's far beyond it. Blessed people can be wealthy. But wealthy people are not necessarily blessed. Blessed people can be rich. But rich people are not necessarily blessed. Money, riches can come from any source. The blessing is a package that carries benefits that money can't buy. That money can't offer. Benefits, details, far beyond the reach of cash. That blessing was behind the making of Abraham. The making of people like Abraham. The making of people like Isaac. The making of people like Jacob. Having said all of that, it doesn't matter what you have. If you don't have the blessing, you don't have much. And it doesn't matter what you lack. If you have the blessing of God, you have too much. It doesn't matter what you have. If you don't have the blessing of God, you don't have much. And it doesn't matter what you lack. If you have the blessing of God, you have too much. Question is, what is in the blessing? What does the blessing carry? Number one, divine presence. The presence of God is the privilege of the blessed. Divine presence. Really blessed men and blessed women. When you come around them, you feel God. When you come around them, you experience God. When you come around them, you sense God. That was the secret of Joseph in, in Genesis chapter 39 verse 2. Joseph the blessed and the Lord was with Joseph. Genesis chapter 39 also verse 21 and the Lord was with Joseph. The presence of God is natural with the blessed. So you can see what I mean. It is possible to have money and carry the presence of the devil. Maybe because of the occultic root of that money. Maybe because of the sinful nature of life but it is not possible to carry the blessing and lack the presence. That was the secret also of David. In 1 Samuel chapter 18 and in verse 14, the Bible said, And David behaved himself wisely in all his ways, and the Lord was with him. David the blessed was David the carrier of divine presence. He carried the presence of God. Also example number three is Job. Job in Job chapter 29 and in verse 4 to verse 5. Job 29 verse 4 to verse 5. He said, as I was in the days of my youth, when the secret of God was upon my tabernacle, he said, when the Almighty was here with me, when my children were about me, that was before his challenge came, when the Almighty was with me, Job carried the presence of God as a man who was blessed. And the presence of God is the answer to the pressures of life. I'm sure you know that. The presence of God is the answer to the pressures of life. For in thy presence is fullness of joy. Psalm 16 and in verse 11. And at thy right hand are pleasures forevermore. The presence of God is the answer to the pressures of life. 
And of course you know that the presence of God is what is called the anointing. The presence of God is what is called the anointing. So blessed people are literally anointed people. Why? Because they carry the presence of God. I see somebody seated here today that is going to move from here with a palpable, tangible dimension of the presence of God like never before. In the name of Jesus, if you are that one, shout the loudest, amen.